welcome to this little video on how to use the settings in Factory Manager 2. What I'm going to do is just click on this, this little button that says settings and it will open up uh, the settings menu and as you can see you can fill in your your details so I'm just gonna put in my name put in the company name and you can fill in all the details, your, your contact details and you can also fill in, if you click on these tabs on the left hand side, you can put in your company's registration number, your registration name, what name you're wanting to display is, your telephone numbers, all your, your details, you can, you can fill in all that. If you carry on down the little tabs, you can fill in the little tax brackets. Um, so if you're in another country besides by South Africa, you can put that to, to any tax amount that you like. You can put in your, your tax number, your banking details, which so your customers can see it. And as you carry carry on down, you can go through it. You don't have to go through these these ones here. These ones here are the are the buttons where you would go to select what's what database you're going to be using. At the moment, it's on the standard one, which is the assembly the assembly database, and that's the the one that Maxima Software uh, generically gives out. You've got options for for sound and and various various options that you you've got but the top the top ones are the main ones that you would that you would use and in in the top three are the ones that you would use in an event of an error we would direct you to these uh, this one with the disk and show you exactly how to how to fix your assembly and how to install a different um, assembly d database thank you very much